I am making smash burgers tonight and I will go through the process of doing it. So anyways, uh, normally I get like a pound of Hamburg and I got this at the local meat, uh, meat market, which is, uh, you know, it's grass fed 80, 20. You want to, you want to use uh, definitely 80, 20 or, or higher. And then sitting on top here is I minced up some bacon, which I need to get a grinder so I can grind it all through and just grind it right into the burger. But uh, anyways, I'm going to mix it in here, and um, th this is the first step of the process. All right, so now I've mixed in the bacon. Basically, it was just the fat out of uh, bacon, and I, I need to just get a meat grinder so I can grind it through and have it less be less um, speckled like that. But uh, honestly, it does pretty darn good like that. I mean... All those white chunks are just bacon fat in there and it makes it i mean it gives it a lot more flavor it really does so anyways uh i'm gonna put it back in the fridge for a little bit which is not a necessary step but um i'm still working on this so so another thing i like to do uh, and this is a definitely not necessary step but i'm telling you it, it makes a difference is i like to grade my own cheese and a lot of the best burger places all used use or used grated cheese instead of putting a slice on there so I like to grate it up this is actually Swiss cheese and I'm gonna grate it on the on the grater with the fine side down so uh, yeah well that's the next step so there we have our big pile of grated Swiss cheese it's going to go in the bowl. I'm going to cover it up and put it in the uh, refrigerator for uh, a little bit later. And usually I take like for my burger patties about like that much and just put it on the top. And because it's grated fine like this, it just melts so much smoother and better. And I, I really like using grated cheese on, on my burgers. So that's the way I do it. Here are the two balls that I'm going to make into two patties. Um, I seasoned, on, seasoned them with onion powder, garlic powder, a little Lowry's, a little crushed red pepper. Um, and then my secret ingredient is a little bit of brown sugar. So, uh, the sugar like caramelizes when you throw it on the hot skillet or griddle or whatever you're cooking it with. But yeah, that's, that's what we're dealing with. So I always prep this stuff ahead of time. I got lettuce. These are garden fresh tomatoes. Duke's mayonnaise. Awesome. Um, pickle slices. A couple pieces of bacon. And then I always toast my buns for... Um, I don't know. I like a toasted bun on my burger. So that's what we got. You could do this on a, a Blackstone or... Any, or even a, a cast iron skillet on the stove, but I have a piece of baking steel and I'm going to be doing it out here on the egg. Doing it on the egg, it adds a little bit of smokiness um, from the, the lump charcoal that's cooking down there, but I like it this way, but it, it's really not necessary. It's just one of those things that makes it a little bit better. So ideally this thing should be like 350 or 400 degrees, but it's it's around 300 now. And we're going to drop those on. And then we take our spatula and smash. You want to make them, you want to smash them pretty thin. And ideally they should, um, they, they cook really quick because they're so thin. You know, they smell delicious. All right, so we're going to let them do their thing for a minute or two and then flip them. Oh, well, we just did the flip. The uh, th 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 little bit of brown sugar makes this nice, um, like caramely, crusty, I don't know, makes it awesome. 
there is a building process. Um, normally, I like to put the buns down, put on, this is a great trick I learned, lettuce on the bottom because it acts as a barrier so all the, um, the juices from the burger patties don't permeate into the bun and make the bun soggy. Um, and then, huh, let's see here. So then there's one burger patty, the other burger patty. Uh, I think the bacon goes on next and it kind of sticks to the cheese. And the tomatoes, they're not going on the, uh, they're not going on the burger. They're just going, uh, I'm gonna salt and pepper those and eat those on the side, but. Uh, so then the pickles, which actually this big pickle can go on there. And then Duke's mayonnaise, only Duke's, I'm not sponsored yet but the duke's mayonnaise goes on the bun and then you put it on the top and that's how you do it yeah here we go so we got duke's mayonnaise on here and i guess i could throw a slice of this tomato it's gonna get too sloppy if i do that i'm just gonna eat those on the side but that's it give it a little squish a little squish to get everything in place and that is gonna be amazing yeah, this is why I'm fat. This is why I'm a fat guy. <laughs> I'm really not that fat. I do a lot of walking and stuff to try not to get that way. But, oh, I love to eat. I love to eat. And these tomatoes came out of my garden. And all this goodness in there is locally sourced. The burger came, uh, the burger meat came from uh, Keller's Meats. The bacon came from Keller Meats. And, uh, yeah, it's just... It's going to be amazing, I, I think. Oh, man, these things are awesome. Oh, geez. <clears throat> Try to get a picture of it here. Look at that thing. A couple bites out of it. Delicious. Hold on. Mmm. I'm telling you, that is so awesome. And the, the tomatoes, the tomatoes are out of my garden, so, mm. and they're awesome too. I didn't want to put them on the burger because I was afraid that uh, it would just make it too sloppy and messy, but I do like a little tomato with my burger, but mm. so delicious. Smash burgers on the big green egg. Awesome. Woo, man, that burger was awesome. It really was good. Um. I was always a really skinny kid. I know that doesn't seem possible now, but I was like 160 pounds at six foot five when I graduated high school. And uh, I was real skinny. And uh, my, my, my mom used to say I was a really picky eater. And maybe I was, but uh, it came to my attention at some point that I wasn't a picky eater. It's just that my mom didn't know how to cook. <laughs> and I, I love you, mom, but you're a terrible cook. Terrible. And so that's why I've um, really started in the last like 10 years or so uh, learning how to cook. And I love different flavors and different, I don't know. I, it, it's not that I'm a picky eater. It's just... When things are delicious, when, when I first started eating things that were delicious, I was like, oh my God, like, how is that? I mean, it tastes so good. And yeah, I just, I realized that uh, I'm not a picky eater. I'm just, I like delicious things. So anyways, uh, that's why I have been honing my skills of cooking and uh, I think I'm doing pretty darn good at it. Anyways, hope everybody is having an awesome Saturday. Uh, there was no train action around Medina th today at all. I uh, I went I went out a few different times, and there's been a little bit of chatter on the radio, but 
yeah, nothing, nothing that I've seen even moved. I was out at like nine and, uh, I think at even two o'clock, everything was still sitting over in the yard and stuff. So hopefully I will get out this week a little bit and get some more train videos. And I like everyone that is subscribed and liking my channel. <laughs> it is, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I had like 600 followers and I don't even know how that's possible, but, uh, Oh, another thing too, is I, I talked to shoestring today a little bit and he's still down in Kentucky, I think, or Tennessee, somewhere over in there. And I was trying to get him maybe to come up here and hang out for a few days, but I don't know what his plans are. So, uh, he's still coming back back from the uh the hobo convention out in Iowa anyways thumbs up catch you everyone later